Fife Flyers TV, sponsored by the Bay Hotel, Fife's premier wedding venue. just kind of hopped on the ice. I think it was ours had it on the far side and I saw two guys low and I just kind of screamed as loud as I could for it, got on a breakaway and shot, shot and hoped it went in. It was one of these ones that you, you kind of had to get and you had to yeah. bury, otherwise yeah. you were probably never going to live it down, I guess. Yeah, and as a D-man, I don't think I've ever been on a breakaway before, so <laughs> that was a first for me and yeah, it was good. Overall, um, how did the, the game go in your opinion? Yeah, it was pretty good. We had a couple of times where we tired. I think that's conditioning. Uh, we got hemmed in our end a couple of times, but when we got it down low and we got got them moving, got it to the point, got pucks on net, I thought we did pretty well. A, a more difficult opponent than last weekend or about the same? Different. I think they played a lot more like teams in this league will, whereas the guys last weekend were kind of running gun all over the place sort of thing, whereas they were really structured and they were bigger, they were more physical, so it was just a different game really. So this is your first season with, uh, with the Flyers, how have you found it so far? It's been really good. Yeah, all the guys are great. I've been having a good time. Uh, everything off the ice has been super professional. And uh, on the ice, I mean, if you scored a goal in my first 10 games, I would have been happy. So this was a pretty good start. Um, um, what was it about the Flyers that made you think, yeah, that, I want to go and, and play for them this season? I heard a lot of good things. I know Aaron and Jeff had talked, Aaron, my coach last year, they talked a lot. And uh, Aaron said that Fife is a pretty good place to go. Um, I talked to guys that lived here, like Plusy, Tyler Plews, Renny Marr, those guys. They said it was all a good place. They obviously talk up their hometown a lot too, so they said it was a good place to be. And yeah, and and you are English, aren't you? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> you couldn't tell by talking to me, but yeah, I uh, started playing hockey when I was five. I started in Telford, and I moved over to Canada when I was eight. So um, I did play two. It was either two or three years when I was uh, when I was in junior and moved over, and I got the chance to develop over there. Okanagan Hockey Academy was good for me. I played on some good uh, junior teams over there, so that was really good for me. I don't think I'd be here today if I hadn't made that move. And and how do you how do you rate the sort of five fans and the sort of reception that you've been getting since you came here? Yeah, they're loud and they're all really passionate. I mean, you go places, everyone's always happy to see you. Hi, how are you going? Everyone's really friendly, so it's been a good start. The noise out there, the atmosphere was great tonight, so yeah, it's been really good. And uh, and what do you what do you reckon this team now that you've seen? How, how you guys are kind of sort of gelling and how you're working together. Uh, you know, what, what do you think this team can, can do this season? I think we can do something really special. I mean, our D-men are all big, really big. I mean, I'm the, the runt of all the D and I'm still 6'2". So, I mean, our D-men are all really big, really physical. We have some really skilled forwards and that's without three other guys, three other forwards and one other D to come. So I think that we've got something pretty good. It'll be interesting to see what happens once those guys come back. Um, I'm excited to see those guys come and play because I don't know much about them either, but I think it's looking pretty good. Well, it's great to have you here. Thanks very much for speaking to us tonight. Cheers. Thank you. The Bay Hotel, where your dream wedding becomes reality. Visit us at thebayhotel.net.